sister and mom attempted to sabotage my wedding to my husband by claiming that my jealous sister was pregnant with his child and she deserved to marry him. Hi, guys. So I'm in a bit of trouble with my mother and sister right now because of something that took place two days back and I have received a lot of unexpected flack for it. I just need some reassurance that I'm not the bad guy here because I feel like people are messing with my head right now. I have not had any contact with the two of them for the past four years after my father passed away because even when I was younger, my mother always had a favorite and it was my sister. Once I graduated high school and moved out for college, I never saw the point of trying to maintain a relationship with them because both my mother and sister had always been very mean to me growing up. The only time I would go back home was when I wanted to meet my dad, and after he passed away from a cardiac arrest, I didn't have any reason to stay in touch with my mom or my sister anymore so I cut them out of my life. It was a good riddance for me and I can't say that they were any worse off for it either. About a year after that, I started dating my now fiancé and after three years of dating, we got engaged a few months back. We didn't announce the engagement until a few weeks ago but as soon as we did, my mom and my sister reached out to me and I know exactly why they did that. The truth is that they are jealous because my fiancé happens to be the CFO of his dad's company, which owns an extremely successful IT firm. My fiancé is going to inherit the company once his father retires and regardless of that, I'm still marrying into a pretty affluent family. This has never made a difference to me since I love my fiancé for who he is, not for his money, but I can't say the same for my sister. A couple of days, after we announced our engagement on social media and sent out the invitations to our wedding, my mother and my sister, came out of nowhere and sent me an email saying that we needed to meet urgently. I was too busy, so I just invited them over to our place and thankfully, they showed up at a time when both my fiancé and I were at home. This incident took place several weeks ago and when they had reached out to me, I thought that they were going to apologize for their past behavior and try to make things right with me now that I was marrying into a rich family, so they obviously wanted me on their side. Instead, when they showed up, they started blackmailing us and told us that my sister was currently pregnant and she had good reason to believe that she was pregnant with my fiancé's child. And if I didn't step aside and allow her to marry him, she would expose him to the world. I instantly knew that it was a load of BS and she was definitely not pregnant with his baby. I was even doubting whether she was pregnant at all in the first place until my mother showed me some reports and she wasn't showing yet but she was quite a few weeks pregnant. But she had no proof that the baby belonged to my fiancé and she refused to get a paternity test, so I told her that she could lie all she wanted, but that was not going to change the truth, and I know for a fact that my fiancé had always been faithful to me. I wasn't scared because I knew that he hadn't done anything but then, my mom and my sister told me that it didn't matter if the baby was actually his or not. They only needed to imply that something like this was going on and if they posted about it on social media, the word of this scandal would spread like wildfire and it would ruin our reputation. So that made me realize that even if they did not have any proof, it would not be difficult for them to come up with fake screenshots and stuff and if they posted it on social media, people would definitely run with it before even verifying how real any of it was. And whether we liked it or not, it would definitely impact his family's reputation since people love scandals and rumors like this. But at the time, my fiancé didn't care and he was just furious that they had been trying to blackmail him, so he started shouting at them to get out of our house and got them to leave. Only I knew that it wasn't over just because they had left since after she went away, my sister sent me another email saying that I still had time to change my fiancé's mind and make him see sense because it would take a whole trial to prove anything and that was enough time for them to drag his reputation through the mud. I was not scared, I knew that she had nothing on us and this was just a desperate attempt to get attention or maybe money. But I also did not want her to post anything, so I told my fiancé to cool down for a bit because I had a much better idea to deal with rather than taking this to court and going public with it. After some discussion, I got him to agree that he would not contact his lawyer, and we would deal with things my way because this was my mother and sister that we were talking about and I wanted to do more damage than just take them to court. If we did that, they were bound to go public, and eventually, I knew that we would have to come to an out-of-court settlement because my father-in-law wouldn't want this to go on for too long since something like this was going to get media attention and negative publicity for the company is not something that would go down well with him, so he would try to get it over as quickly as he could. I explained all of this to my fiancé, and eventually, he understood what I was getting at. If we wanted to teach them a lesson, we had much better ways to do it without putting our reputation at stake. I had figured out that if she was genuinely pregnant, then there had to be somebody who had actually gotten her pregnant. So the only thing that I had to do was track this person down, it took me a few weeks and I had to dig a lot deeper than I thought I would have to since this had been quite a well-kept secret, but eventually, I was able to find out who the real father of the baby was and I'll get to that soon enough. All I had to do was hold my mother and my sister off for those few weeks and by myself and my fiancé some time so I could plan something big. I was really mad that even after 4 years of no contact, they were still coming after me for no reason but I had figured out that they only wanted to take my place because they were desperate for money. I had asked around and learned that my mom and my sister had been living quite extravagantly for the past couple of years and had managed to quickly burn through most of the money that my father had left for them. My sister had even developed a gambling addiction two years ago and because of that, they had had to sell our house and move into a small apartment. 
So naturally, it made sense why they were so jealous of me and wanted to blackmail me so I would pay them off to keep them quiet because obviously, I was not going to allow her to take my place in the wedding since that was just absurd. I guess they didn't think things through and so, I was able to find out the truth and then, I decided to invite all her friends and a couple of our family members to an event that I hosted two days back for the big reveal. Her plan had been to humiliate me and my fiancé and try to ruin our reputation so she would get what she wanted and now, it was my turn to give her a taste of her own medicine. I had emailed her a couple of days back, telling her that if what she was saying was true, then I didn't want to get married to this guy anyway and I had decided that she was going to take my place in the wedding. Obviously she couldn't believe it because she hadn't expected me to agree and she called me up after that to talk me out of it telling me that she would accept child support until her baby turned 18 but I didn't actually have to give up my relationship with my fiancé because she knew that we loved each other and she was willing to stay away. But I told her that I had already sent her a wedding gown and she was gonna show up at my wedding because she deserved this. She couldn't even talk her way out of it because then she would have to admit the truth, that she had been bluffing about the baby being my fiancé, and then her entire plan would fall through. So she agreed probably because she thought that it was a win-win situation since she was getting to marry a rich guy anyway, and she was going to be well taken care of. Anyway, whatever her reasons were, she showed up at the event that I hosted two days back. It was really difficult to find a venue on such short notice but, thanks to my fiancé connections, I was able to find something and I didn't bother with catering and decorations and stuff because I didn't think that it would be necessary for what I was planning. My sister showed up with my mom in the wedding dress that I had sent her and she looked quite surprised to see both me and my fiancé there, along with a bunch of her friends and relatives who looked very confused. I hadn't told anyone the reason I had invited them, just that it was important for them to be there and most of them showed up. When my sister finally turned up, I brought her up to the stage that had been set up and started telling everyone how this situation had taken place. People looked shocked when they realized exactly what was going on and I could feel my sister trying to free herself so she could make a run for it, but I held on tight and I did not let her go. I continued to speak and explain everything, and then, when the time was right, I invited my special guest to take his place on the stage and he gladly did so. Now, I guess I can finally tell you guys who the actual baby daddy is and you guys can laugh along exactly how everyone at the so-called fake wedding ended up doing. It was my sister's 56-year-old ex-boss from the company that she was employed in previously but ended up quitting because people had started treating her with hostility when they realized that she was hooking up with their married boss. She had quit just a couple of weeks back but had decided to keep the baby when she discovered that she was pregnant since she was blackmailing her boss as well. She had told him that he needed to sign a contract and pay child support and she would keep her mouth shut about everything, but if he didn't, she would tell everyone the truth, and that would put his job in jeopardy. Out of fear of losing his job, he had agreed and he had also agreed partly because he was in love with her and was ready to leave his wife for her. He had even told her about it, and she had promised him that she would think about it but right now, she could only think about the pregnancy. However, when I found out who the father of the baby was and I approached him to tell him the truth, he was very disappointed and readily agreed to be a part of my plan to humiliate her. After we explained everything to the guests over there, they all started laughing at her because this had really backfired, and I guess people found it hilarious. Then, I finally let go of her because I'm pretty sure she had been feeling like an idiot in that wedding dress standing beside my fiancé in his shorts, she should have guessed this was not a wedding that was going to take place and made a run for it in the beginning itself, but she was too stupid to figure out what was going on. Anyway, once she was gone, most of the people cleared out since they realized that this was something that I had just put together to humiliate my sister and teach her a lesson, and some of them even came up to congratulate me because nobody should feel like they can try and do something like this and get away with it. I was pretty impressed with myself because I had managed to pull something like this off and taught her a lesson without allowing her to drag my fiancé's family's reputation through the mud. I mean, even if she had tried something like that, we could have sued her but now, I'm pretty sure she isn't even going to have the audacity to do that. I had been feeling happy about it. But after my plan was successful, I told a couple of my friends about it and they told me that I had taken things way too far and that I should have just taken things to court and let the law deal with it. My fiancé and I are very confused because we thought that what we did was quite clever and we dodged going to court and stuff because of reasons that I had already mentioned earlier. But now, my friends are distancing themselves from me and are calling me manipulative and cunning and it feels really hurtful because I wouldn't have done something like this if my sister had been a good person, but she was desperate and crazy and she deserved what was coming to her. I guess people are overlooking that and just trying to paint me to be the villain for no reason. Or maybe I'm actually the bad guy here? I'm really not sure, so Ida for coming up with a plan to humiliate my sister on purpose? Update 1, since I originally posted here. After I told my friends, and they started pushing me away because of my behavior, a lot of the people in the comments told me that what I did was very scorched earth of me, but it wasn't as bad as they were trying to make it out to be. So I had been feeling fine with what I had done and was trying not to think about it too much because even though people here thought that there was nothing wrong with it, my friends still didn't agree. At least my fiancé was on my side here and that was what made everything easier to deal with. But after what I found out a couple of hours ago, both my fiancé and I have been feeling incredibly guilty and we don't know what to do about it. So a couple of hours ago, 
I received a bunch of messages from an unknown number, which we figured out was my mom, saying that my sister was in the hospital right now because of what had happened. Apparently, after we threw her that fake party and humiliated her in front of all her friends, and so many members of her family, everyone started cutting her off and lost all respect for her, which she should have seen coming but the way that we dealt with the situation made it all the more difficult for her. She had been miserable ever since she returned home that day, and hadn't stopped crying, which isn't surprising. But unfortunately, she decided to do something very risky and went out drinking by herself last night. She had told my mother that she was just going out for a walk, but she went out to a bar on the other side of the town and got absolutely wasted, and then tried to drive herself home. That resulted in her skidding off the road while driving back home and she crashed into a tree and sustained serious injuries. This is really bad because she's pregnant right now and I'm really hoping that she doesn't lose the baby, no matter what happens. If that ends up taking place, I don't think I will ever be able to forgive myself, and neither will my fiancé. At this point, we don't even care what our friends think or what people in Reddit think, we just don't want something like this on our conscience and I don't think anybody in our place would disagree with what we are saying. And everything has already happened, it's not like we can go back in time and fix what we did, but the least we can do is at least pray and hope for the best because we really don't want anything serious to happen to her. Even though what she did was wrong, nobody deserves this and I am gonna stand by that. We found out just a couple of hours ago and we haven't responded to the text yet but we might go and see her in the hospital if we think it's appropriate. Update 2 so like I had said, my fiancé and I decided to go see my sister in the hospital. It's almost 3 in the afternoon right now and we left for the hospital at noon. When we got there, I got to see my mother and she was really stressed out. She wasn't happy to see me at all, which I don't blame her for and she instantly told me to go away but I told her that she couldn't exactly blame me for what had happened because she and her daughter were the ones who had come up with a crazy and stupid plan and it would have been much easier to just ask me for the money. She told me that she had tried to stop my sister, but she got pretty upset and reckless when she found out who I was engaged to because they were having such a hard time with money themselves. She thought that it was unfair and that's when she came up with this plan, this ridiculous plan to blackmail me and my fiancé, and no matter how much my mother warned her against it, she just went ahead with it and so my mom had to be there for her. I stood my ground, and I told my mom that I was not going to apologize for that stunt to humiliate her, since what she had been planning to put me and my fiancé through was much worse than what we had done. And even though we had shown up for my sister, it was out of concern and was definitely not supposed to be taken as an apology. We were not sorry for anything that we had done, but we were definitely sorry for what was happening to her. She was the one who had made a bunch of bad decisions after the other, enabled by our mother and unfortunately, she was now going to have to face the consequences of it. My mom did not even argue with me when I told her all of this and she just seemed to give up. My sister had regained consciousness by the time that we had shown up but she was in a lot of pain and had had a serious concussion because of the accident, so we had to wait for a couple of minutes before we could be allowed to see her. At first, I really didn't think that she was going to agree to meet me after everything that happened, but I was surprised when she accepted, and the nurse came by to take us with her. When I saw her, she was in a pretty bad state, and I don't even want to talk about it because it was traumatizing for me to see her that way as well. Thankfully, though, we got to know that her baby was safe and sound since it was mostly just her face neck and shoulders that had taken the worst of the accident. For now, at least, they did not have anything to worry about with regards to the pregnancy. It was quite awkward for me to see her when I walked in and I really didn't know what I was going to say to her, but she was the one who started the conversation and told me that whatever was happening to her was well deserved. She sounded really unhappy, but nevertheless, she still apologized to me and told me that it was just difficult for her to accept that I was doing so well in life because she had always assumed that she would be living the kind of life that I had right now. But instead, she was pregnant, single, and unemployed, and to top it off, she was also going broke. She told me that she had been miserable for the past couple of weeks and that's what had led to her being so reckless and playing fast and loose with pretty much everything that was going on in her life. I'm not gonna lie, I did feel bad for her but I didn't know what to say to her so I just let her talk. She kept venting about how everything was horrible for her and how jealous she was of me and then she eventually just said that the fact that I had come to see her, made it even more difficult for her because she knew that she was wrong and deserved all of this and yet I was being the bigger person and showing up for her when she did not deserve even a bit of my empathy. I thought she was about to cry, so I told her that I knew that things would never be fine between us, but I really did feel bad for her. I wanted to tell her that would be fine, but I don't know that for sure, so I thought that it would be better to just say nothing. Instead, I said that she needed to hang in there and try to make her life better instead of blackmailing people and manipulating them because all these things were dishonest and illegal and maybe this was just her karma catching up to her. She didn't say much after that, just quietly shut her eyes and told us that she wanted to go to sleep so we left. Before leaving, I gave my mother some cash, even though I didn't need to do that for them, but I felt like I wanted to. I don't know what's gonna happen with them, but I really hope that nothing terrible happens. I'm not the kind of person to wish that on anybody, not even my mom or my sister, not even after what they have done. Update 3, hi, so it's been 5 days since I visited my sister in the hospital and my fiancé and I are just a week and a half away from the wedding. Our real wedding, just to be clear. 
So far, only our friends knew about what we had done, with my sister and everything. We hadn't told his family about it because we didn't want them stressing out about any of this but today we thought that it was finally time to let them know since a lot of our friends have now declined to come to the wedding. And obviously, his parents would ask the reason for that on the day of the wedding, when they realized that so many of our friends were missing so we thought that we would get that out of the way today we invited them over for lunch, explained everything to them, and we thought that they were going to be mad at how we dealt with the situation because it was quite juvenile and risky, but they told us that we had done, what we must have thought it through and if our reasons were that we didn't want things to go to court and risk our family's reputation, then they had no complaints because at least our heart was in the right place. Besides, even if I had a personal vendetta against my sister and I wanted to mess her up, it was still not wrong because that's what she was doing to me. In fact, it was the exact thing that she had tried to do to me, but unfortunately, it had backfired on her. So I had nothing to feel sorry about and if my friends couldn't see that, that was their loss. They should probably be happy that I saved my sister from having to spend a fortune on lawyers and stuff in this way, she can just avoid it all. After discussing it all with them, we realized that they were cool with whatever had happened and then, we went on to tell them what had been going on with my sister recently, with the accident and stuff. My mother reached out to me yesterday and told me that my sister had been discharged from the hospital two days back and she was back home now. She thanked me for the money and told me that she was grateful that I had even shown up, in spite of everything that had happened. I had been thinking about sending some more money to them since I could totally afford it and I knew that they needed it. So I asked my in-laws about it and they told me that it was a fantastic idea because I had already taught them their lesson and just because they were terrible people didn't mean that I would have to stoop down to their level. If I feel better after having helped them out, then I should totally go for it without thinking about what other people would say. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna send some more money to them and I really hope that she gets better soon enough, but I'm not gonna have any contact with them because that's not something I want for myself. I'll give them the support that they need from afar, I think that's what's best for us right now. Update 4, Hi, everyone. So I understand that not everybody agrees with my decision to support my mom and my sister, even though I haven't exactly said that I'm gonna make things right with them again. Most people believe that I should just let them be on their own and not help them at all, but that's not who I am as a person. I really wish I could be that cold and heartless, but that's not me. Believe me, had it been me, I wouldn't even have visited my sister when she was in the hospital because I wouldn't have cared and I guess that would have solved a lot of problems for me in the past. Anyway, this is who I am and I've already made up my mind, so I'm gonna do what I wanna do and I just hope that people realize there is a world beyond revenge and in the real world, everything is not black and white. I'm not saying that people have to agree with my decision, but I just hope that you guys respect it and don't call me names for it. Anyway, even if you do, that's your call and I can't exactly do anything to prevent it. But like I said, I had been sending money to my mother and recently, we had a discussion and she told me that my sister was going to start looking for jobs as soon as possible, preferably ones where she could work from home and then they would start paying me back as soon as they had a steady income. I was fine with that and once again, they apologized to me and thanked me for everything that I was doing for them and they told me that they would love to repair the relationship because they really were sorry about everything. I told him that I would think about it, I haven't exactly made a decision yet because I have been busy with my wedding. So yeah, we got married and my fiancé, and I have never been happier. It's just been two days but I already feel like a new person and calling him my husband makes me feel giddy with joy. Both of us were really happy and even though a lot of our friends did not attend, at least my best friend and his closest friends were there and that's all that we needed. We're going off on our honeymoon in a couple of days and that's all that's on our mind right now, 